Imagine a tiny, tenacious messenger, Voyager 2, hurtling through the cosmic dark for nearly half a century, carrying with it the hopes and curiosity of an entire planet. Launched in 1977, this remarkable spacecraft has traveled farther than any human-made object before it, braving the vast emptiness between the stars. For decades it sailed through the solar system, weaving its way past giant planets and icy moons, all within a protective bubble carved out by our sun's wind, a region known as the heliosphere. Scientists long expected the edge of this bubble, the heliopause, to be a smooth, clear boundary, a simple line where the sun's influence faded and interstellar space began. But as Voyager 2 approached this distant frontier, it didn't find a calm shore. Instead, it plunged into a chaotic, turbulent zone, where the forces of our solar system and the galaxy beyond collide in unpredictable ways. The data it sent back to Earth told a story of a messy, dynamic interface, far from the simple wall we once imagined. The boundary was alive, shifting and changing with the cosmic weather. The sun's magnetic field was tangled and compressed, pushed back by the relentless interstellar wind, creating a kind of cosmic traffic jam where energies and particles clashed and mingled. This was a frontier of conflict and complexity, a place of invisible storms and swirling forces, far more interesting and dramatic than we ever imagined from Earth. Voyager 2 became our eyes and ears at this distant boundary, revealing that the solar system doesn't simply end, it actively fights for its territory, pushing back against the galaxy's encroachment. The heliosphere is a living, breathing entity, jostling and flexing against the vastness of the Milky Way, its shape and strength constantly molded by forces from both inside and out. We are shielded by this dynamic barrier, a cosmic shield that protects our solar neighborhood from the harshest radiation and particles drifting through interstellar space. The edge of our solar system is not a static border, but a roiling, ever-changing boundary where the sun's dominion meets the vast unknown, and the rules of space are rewritten. Voyager 2's journey has given us a front-row seat to this incredible process, allowing us to witness the ongoing drama at the edge of forever. It's a story of discovery that continues to unfold, one data point at a time, as Voyager 2 presses onward into the great cosmic sea, carrying our questions ever farther from home. Voyager 2's findings shattered our old image of the heliosphere as a smooth, comet-shaped bubble. Instead of a neat boundary, it found a magnetic wall, stronger and more turbulent than predicted. The interstellar magnetic field is more powerful than we thought, pressing hard against our solar system. Think of our solar system not as a speedboat, but as a barge pushing against a strong current, creating a churning froth at its bow. This magnetic buffer zone is where cosmic forces clash, a discovery that's rewritten astrophysics textbooks. It implies other star systems have similarly complex boundaries, crucial for shielding planets from harsh cosmic rays. Voyager 2's data gives us the first direct look at this critical region, a template for other stars. The universe is not a collection of isolated islands. Everything is connected in this turbulent frontier. Voyager 2 has revealed the intricate dance of cosmic forces shaping our home. Let's rewind to the 1970s, a time when space exploration was still in its golden age and the world watched in awe as humanity reached for the stars. In this era, a rare planetary alignment presented a once-in-176-year opportunity, a cosmic window that would allow a single spacecraft to visit multiple outer planets by using their gravity to slingshot from one to the next. NASA seized this extraordinary moment. On August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 thundered off the launch pad, embarking on an ambitious mission to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in a single unprecedented journey known as the Grand Tour. Before Voyager, these distant worlds were little more than blurry mysterious disks in our telescopes. Their true nature, what they looked like up close, what secrets they held, remained hidden from view. Voyager 2, along with its identical twin, was a marvel of engineering. It was equipped with advanced cameras, spectrometers, and magnetometers all powered by a nuclear battery designed to last for decades, far beyond the reach of the sun's energy. Its mission was clear, to explore the outer planets up close for the very first time, capturing images and data that would transform our understanding of the solar system. The journey began with a breathtaking flyby of Jupiter in 1979, followed by Saturn in 1981, each encounter revealing stunning new details and surprises. The mission's success was so remarkable 
that it was extended to include Uranus and Neptune, planets that, until then, had never been visited by any spacecraft. No spacecraft had ever ventured so far into such uncharted territory, pushing the limits of what was thought possible by using gravity assists, ingenious slingshot maneuvers around the giant planets, Voyager 2 gained the speed and trajectory needed to reach the mysterious ice giants at the edge of our solar system. The grand tour became truly grand as Voyager 2's odyssey pushed the boundaries of exploration and inspired generations of scientists and dreamers. Voyager 2's innovative design and bold ambition set a new standard for space missions proving that with vision and ingenuity, the impossible could become reality. This was the beginning of a journey that would forever change how we see our solar system and our place within it. At Jupiter, Voyager 2 revealed a world in violent motion, its atmosphere swirling with storms and turbulence on a scale never before witnessed. The Great Red Spot, a centuries-old storm larger than Earth itself, raged on, while Voyager captured the first-ever images of active volcanoes on Io, the first volcanic activity seen beyond our own planet. Even Jupiter's small, distant moons hinted at hidden activity, suggesting that the outer solar system was far more alive than anyone had imagined. Saturn's rings, once thought to be solid bands, were revealed as thousands of delicate ringlets with mysterious spokes and newly discovered shepherd moons sculpting their ever-changing edges. Saturn itself became a dynamic, evolving system, a ballet of ice, rock, and gravity where moons and rings interacted in ways never seen before. At Uranus, Voyager 2 encountered a tilted blue-green world spinning on its side, with a bizarre off-center magnetic field, and faint dark rings barely visible against the blackness of space. It was our only close-up look at this enigmatic ice giant, a planet shrouded in mystery and unlike any other in the solar system. Neptune, the final stop, surprised us with the discovery of the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm, and the fastest winds in the solar system, along with active geysers erupting from its moon Triton. Neptune was far from quiet, a planet of dynamism and extremes, with a deep blue atmosphere roiling with storms and mysteries. Each encounter transformed our understanding, revealing a solar system far richer, more complex, and more varied than we'd ever conceived full of surprises at every turn. The grand tour ended, but the discoveries had just begun. Voyager's journey would inspire generations of scientists and explorers. Voyager 2 turned distant points of light into real, astonishing worlds, forever changing how we see our place in the cosmos. Our cosmic neighborhood was forever changed, its wonders revealed by a tiny spacecraft on a journey into the unknown. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued, outward, toward the space between stars. It became an interstellar pathfinder, measuring the sun's influence and venturing where no probe had gone. On November 5, 2018, more than 11 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. Its instruments recorded a sharp drop in solar wind and a jump in galactic cosmic rays, the moment of transition. Now, Voyager 2 was flying through the interstellar medium, bathed in the unfiltered light of the galaxy. Its plasma instrument provided the first direct measurements of interstellar plasma, denser and colder than inside the heliosphere. These data are crucial for understanding the pressure balance between our solar system and the galaxy. Voyager 2's crossing marks humanity's first steps into the galactic neighborhood. It's writing the first chapter of our interstellar travel guide. Keeping Voyager 2 alive is an engineering marvel. Over 12 billion miles away, its faint signals take 18 hours each way to reach Earth. Built with 1970s technology, it has less memory than a car key fob. Power from its nuclear battery declines each year, forcing tough choices about which instruments to keep running. In 2020, the only antenna able to send commands was offline for upgrades. Voyager 2 operated alone for 11 months. When contact was restored, it replied, a testament to its resilience and the dedication of its engineering team. The mission endures thanks to decades of ingenuity and the relentless desire to keep listening to the whispers from the edge of the cosmos. Voyager 2 has changed how we see ourselves and our place in the cosmos. It turned distant planets into real, tangible worlds, volcanic Io, Saturn's rings, Uranus's tilt, Triton's geysers, our sense of home expanded beyond Earth, forcing humility and awe at the diversity of the universe. 
Voyager 2's discoveries inspired new missions and generations of scientists. It didn't just answer questions, it created new mysteries to solve. Its findings are woven into our cultural fabric, reminding us we're part of a grand, interconnected system. The drive to explore is one of our most defining traits. Voyager 2 carries more than instruments. It carries a golden record, a time capsule from Earth, with images, music, greetings and the sounds of our planet. It's a message of hope and peace to the cosmos. Curated by Carl Sagan's team, the record represents the human spirit as much as science. The odds of it being found are tiny, but the act of creating it was a profound exercise in self-reflection. The true audience is humanity itself, a mirror of what we value most. Voyager 2's legacy is twofold, unparalleled scientific discovery and a symbol of human aspiration. Long after its power fades, it will sail on, a silent ambassador carrying a golden memory of Earth. It's a testament to the species that dared to reach for the stars.